Hi, my name is Rashmi Dubey and I'm from India. I came to US in 2010 to do my PhD from Boston College. In the beginning, uh, we were allowed to like uh, rotate in three different labs and then choose which lab we wanted to work and do our PhD and get our degree in. Uh, my first lab was a HIV, SIV, E-based lab where they did a lot of immunology stuff. But when I rotated there, I just didn't feel that I was the right fit and I didn't enjoy it so much and I didn't look that I could do that for five more years. <laughs> so <laughs> my third rotation was in Mark Ann Gubbles lab and I really enjoyed it. I learned so much during that seven weeks period that I was like, yes, I can explore this more. Ever since as a kid, like I was always interested in biology. Like I had education and like, maths, computer, everything in general, but I always wanted to be a doctor, like actually a medical doctor. <laughs> so when I came into sciences and I wanted to like basically contribute in that way so that I can see change, like do something that would like impact people in a positive way. In our field, um, we are like trying to find these drugs like find new therapeutics because there's no vaccine still available for toxoplasmosis and uh, it is like really deadly in immunocompromised people and uh, congenital toxoplasmosis is like also a very big problem so the big picture goal is of course to find therapeutics but also like uh, contributing and understanding the basic biology of the parasite that is also very like important so that is all. I had never basically heard about this Toxoplasma bandai, the organism that we work in. I mean we had, had just a very basic idea but I didn't know that uh, there's so many things that are still unexplored in it and like one third of the population is infected by this disease so that really you know hyped my interest and I like it was amazing that even the division of the parasite is not that well understood now. Basically what I do in the lab on a daily basis I'll say is like we manipulate the genome of uh, the parasite to express the proteins we want it to express and then see how it is behaving. We have like in my project I've done a lot of mutations like point mutations mutated one particular amino acid and to see what how it changes using different carbon sources i've tried to see if the parasite can grow in it and when it does that it will flies out the host cell monolaria and uh, i stain it with crystal violet and then i read it on a plate reader to see if uh, the host cell has been lived and uh, the major goal for this experiment was to see in uh, which carbon source uh, the parasites are uh, behaving well and this was like what like really gets me up from the bed is like the whole idea of that we can go there see what is happening and whenever you look at the big picture it gives you a lot of satisfaction that something is happening which can like you do very little in the lab but when you like read about it and you see the impact that you feel that yes <laughs> this is from where actually the medical doctors can take help too <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's definitely just the first step but yes uh, it's very satisfying <laughs>